We spend a lot of our time online interacting with other people in groups of different sizes. We have a lot of good tools for this. We have IM for one-on-one -on -one chat, chat rooms for small groups, and forums for large group discussions. As I started spending more time watching online live events though, I realized we didn't really have good tools for really big groups, like 100,000 people big. Chat alone clearly isn't going to work, so what should we do? How do we make being in a crowd of spectators online feel like being in a sports arena offline? In this video, I'm going to show you an early prototype of a system I call Roar that helps you feel like you're part of a crowd watching a live event. I'll show a demo of Roar being used to watch a live video game tournament, but you can imagine it being used for any kind of sporting event, live political event, or TV show. Alright, so this is Roar. Most of the screen is the game itself, and the people you hear in the background are the game's commentators. I want to focus your attention on the bar on the bottom. That's where the action is. First, we've got simple chat. You can type in messages, and everyone in your section can hear it. This is just like normal. All the chat messages you see here are generated by bots, so don't worry if they're sort of incoherent. Unlike current chat systems, we have a notion of sections. Each section has its own separate chat channel. You can think of sections like different parts of a stadium. Everyone's there watching the same thing, but you can only hear the people sitting near you. Sections can be named whatever you want. Maybe you want to sit near people from the same online community as you, who speak the same language, or who root for the same team. You can make your own new section by typing in any name you want in the section box. They're not private, but they can be obscure. You can see a list of the most popular sections and get a sense of their relative activity from the dots on their left. This isn't so different from existing chat technology, so let's move on to the new stuff. This area at the bottom of the screen is a live visualization of the most interesting common words across all the sections. These bubble up and then disappear over time. The number of words on the screen at once is correlated with the overall volume of the whole crowd. When everyone gets silent, the words will all disappear. When everybody's loud, tons of words will pop up. This lets you see when the crowd is going crazy and when they're hushed with anticipation. If you have a specific clever message or link that you want to share with everybody, instead of just saying it to people in your section, you can shout it. Shouts persist longer than chat messages, and other people can vote on them. When you shout, it starts in your section. If enough people in your section like it, it will spread to nearby sections. If it continues to get votes, it can spread to the entire audience. This helps create shared audience experiences across sections, making them less isolated. The word visualization and shout system provide a space for collective action. Just like at a baseball game where fans can chant in unison, in Roar, spectators who all say the name of the player they're rooting for at the same time can make that player's name appear in huge letters on everyone's screen, not just the people in their own section. In a similar way, shouting to a section that shares your interests will make it more likely that they'll vote for your shout and help spread it to other sections. But MC is coming back with a scary force that is going to sandwich uh, oh, cloak. in here. And look at this. The Cloak goes trying to drop EMP, and they do on the majority of the units. This is about as good as it could get for Thorzane doing some dropship micro, actually. Taking it. Oh, what? my God. Oh. I think we should just have a moment of silence and hold hands at what we just saw here. What is going on? Thorzane, amazing. So in the end, I hope systems like Roar can help you watch moments like that one with 100,000 other fans and make it feel at least a little bit like they're all in the room with you. I've got a bunch of ideas about where to take this project next, and I'd love to get your feedback to help me figure out what would be best. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.